All right, we're going to send things over to our first alert meteorologist Aaron Moran. We've got a lot to talk about, especially when it comes to the heat. Yes, <laughs> a lot to get through. Temperatures now starting to warm into the triple digits. Uh, we see that in Graham at 100. We're at 99 for Mineral Wells and Breckenridge. You've got uh, McKinney sitting at 96, Dallas, Fort Worth, Denton at 97. But we still have heat index values for the most part in the triple digits. Our concern being these heat index values over 103 degrees at times. And, you know, it's 106 right now in Denton and Bowie, 105 in Sherman and Bonham. Feels like 101 at Love Field, 100 in Terrell. Notice though Cleburne and Stephenville uh, with these heat index values not really impacted quite as much. Dew points are a little bit lower there. So we had a little bit of a mix out. We started to see more of these dew points in the low and mid 60s, the farther west you go. Uh, and we actually have Fort Worth and Dallas even reporting in with these dew points at 67 to 68. So I'm not saying it's comfortable out there, but the lower the dew point, uh, the less likely the humidity is bothering you. And, you know, we're, we've been talking about a better mix out of our dew points as we head into tomorrow. So we've got some spots with dew points in the 60s currently. Then you look to tomorrow and we're talking about some spots potentially seeing dew points into the 50s. Now that means, OK, the humidity is not bothering you so much, but if there's a little less moisture in the air, then it's easier for the temperature to rise pretty quickly. And so this is why the National Weather Service, more than anything else, is kind of continuing with the heat advisory. They've extended it into tomorrow evening. It'll probably be extended for parts of North Texas into Friday and potentially the weekend as well. For tomorrow, they're saying feels like temperatures could be as high as 109 degrees. But as the dew points mix, mix out a little bit better on Thursday, if you're not dealing with the dangerous heat index value, you could just be dealing with the dangerous heat. And remember, heat advisories are issued when the air temperature, the ambient temperature is at 103 or higher for at least a couple of days or that heat index of over 105 for a couple of days. So this is why, you know, whether you're dealing with the heat index value or you're dealing with the dangerous heat itself, we just have to be prepared for the dog days of summer. Tomorrow is August 1st and we're starting to see consistent low 100s. These are forecast high temperatures, not the heat index values. So up to 105 in Graham and Breckenridge, 100 to 102 for the Metroplex and then upper 90s to the east. So August 1st, triple digits return. Probably the warmest day coming in on Friday with a forecast high of 103. We do have a weak cold front this weekend. It brings low rain chances and it knocks temperatures from 102 to 100. We'll still keep the triple digits though for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week back up to 103 by next Wednesday.